what's going on guys? I'm over here at uh, Blanco doing another course. Now this course is a finishing course, so they built this dome in one of the last courses. The course I took with Dome Guy was in Mexico. And then we're doing a finishing course on this dome back here. Look at all the people go. And uh, y'all, if, if y'all are interested in alternative building, I definitely recommend taking one of these courses. Uh, you get to connect with beautiful human beings and you get to make some beautiful art or architecture, whatever you want to learn. As it is, we put the art in architecture. Ha! 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 I'll see y'all later. Let's go check out what's going on inside. This time around we're learning how to work with magnesium oxide. Just got a great lesson from a guy named George Swanson last night that built that made this book called uh, Breathing Walls. Yeah. Talked about how the toxicity of the of the um, materials that we use just stay in the home and the walls don't allow for the water vapor to escape. So magnesium oxide is non-toxic, doesn't hurt your lungs. So we're uh, doing some experiments with that to see, see how it goes. Yeah, so let me give you a little update about what we're doing. Yesterday I was up there working with magnesium oxide and hemp mix to fill in all the holes to make it nice and smooth and nice and domey, right? And uh, we used another batch of um, magnesium mortar to fill up any holes that were not adhered well. Sometimes whenever you put the wrap on, you know that vinyl, that uh, mesh wrap that you wrap the dome in, if it doesn't take on this, on the inside of the, uh, uh, the air creep block, then it's going to leave a little bubble and that's not good. So you have to cut that out and patch it up. So that's why you put on the uh, that's why you put on the stuff on the inside uh, or the top of the aircrete, and then you put on more stuff over the mesh. I know I'm guys. I'm just learning so much that it's hard to really just put it into words what is going on. So I'll try my best to explain. But there's there's so much cool stuff here. I'll see y'all later. What's going on guys? Another day at the course. Um, so much to tell you, honestly. It's like, where do I even start? But this is the most important thing that I wanted to learn was how to use magnesium oxide for a finishing coat on the uh, dome. So we're working on that right now, learning how to work it with, um, you know, the magnesium oxide, baby. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. She is looking good. Looking good. Well, we did it, guys. We did a, uh, a week-long course on finishing out a dome with magnesium oxide. And I gotta say, man, this place looks great. It looks beautiful. Um, learned a lot. Learned how to work with this stuff. Really incredible stuff, guys. Learned a lot about uh, breathable buildings, about toxicities at home, and coming back to natural living to where the elements that we use to build um, are actually, you know, we need to work with them that are actually in our benefits for health and and um, environment so so yeah I'm gonna try to uh, implement this type of finish out um, on the dome and I'm, I'm getting to that point where like you know this is where this is my next stage once I get it finished built up but I just want to say I love you guys and um, you know get get find your tribe you know get connected with the community make some relationships because there's beautiful beautiful people out there and you, believe it or not a lot of us are in the same mind that we want to uh, heighten our own experience of life on this earth and and do that with connection with others so 
Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Yeah.